Please, will you welcome Vivian Westwood. But having invited the provocative Westwood onto primetime television, the Beeb just couldn't resist the opportunity to hang Vivian and her clothes out to dry in a classic piece of car crash TV. Vivian, have, have they caught up? We're going to have to look at the shoes again. <laughs> Vivian, you see look high. <laughs> What do you they're, call they're them? They're really great. You can stand on them on tiptoe. They're ever so stable. What do you call them? I call them rocking horse shoes. Where have you got this pelmet from here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Vivian Westwood, the designer behind the shop, Sex, who cl made clothes for punks, those bad people who made songs about anarchy in the UK. There she is, in a nice red dress with pom-poms at the back. It's got little balls inside. What's little so, balls? What are they made yeah. of? Um, I don't know if you buy it from John Lewis, it's padding. <laughs> yeah. You know, you'd have had people like with the beans on toes going. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the rudest interview ever. And um, if you see some of the cod pieces that people wore, they're just so <laughs> extravagant. I mean, we wouldn't. Russell Harty is being bovine uh, because he knows that that's the role he has to play. He's got to be the common or garden, ordinary man in the pub. I'm wondering how, how highly, this is a serious question, how highly regarded you are, Vivian Westwood, in Europe? I think that Vivian... Hello? Well, <laughs> this is the new collection. What's it called? Um, well, I'd like to describe it after. It's, a little, it's called Time Machine. Time one. Machine. Yeah. Here we go. They're fabulous clothes, really. And if you look at them, if you actually deconstruct well, them, a lot of what has come in is there already. You know, she's way ahead. It's very English, but it has pagan touches, Greek are and Roman. Supposed, are people supposed to laugh? I mean, they're laughing. <laughs> they're laughing at you, Vivian. Are they supposed to laugh? I, I think she feels great, and I don't think they should laugh, really, but... Uh, but um... The British are basically polite, but, of course, Sue doesn't want that. She wants them to laugh. I mean, what sort if they of... don't stop laughing, I shall tell the next person not to come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're not to laugh. You, you can laugh. laugh. You can laugh, but look as well. It's really great. Is this a winter collection? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never met this response before. I keep talking about her, but she is the quintessential British designer. And they made fun of her. Here you are, Russell. Yeah. This is for you. This is more me, yeah. It's got lovely the, English um, look. Only the English can do tailoring yes, but like it's this. It's extraordinary that you can produce that right mm. next to that other thing. There of that always <laughs> before. It's so just really sophisticated if you don't understand that. Either. That is, but she looks like a chip shop, that one. <laughs> no, it's like a what? Come back. Hang on, what the chip bring? Come back. No, it is... Which one looks like Which a chip shop? Which is the chip shop? This one, here. Which one? This yeah. fiddling is a chip shop. It looks like a chip shop. I mean, can you come back, Sarah. Can you imagine going to come Sainsbury's in that in a room? <laughs> it does not look like a chip shop. I look like a fairy. It's the equivalent of someone with, say, Vincent van Gogh, getting him poor mad Vincent and making fun of him for the rude public watcher. I think you, you would be very unfair here. No, I'm not. a very, very, very no, successful no, I'm designer not and the most influential designer I'm in England at the moment. While well, the watching public didn't know was that this was a watershed moment in BBC history. Vivian's lone defender, Janet Street Porter, had recently been appointed head of BBC Youth Entertainment.